Peace and blessings, you ugly mofos, and welcome to another episode of He Rants. I'm your host, Felix Long Trust. Man, if this is your first time on He Rants, make sure you hit that like button, man. I'm an interesting guy, I'm being honest with you, man. At the same time, hit the post notifications on the subscribe button as well. You see how I did that? I said, I said hit the post notifications before you hit the subscribe button. I know it doesn't work that way, but just hit the damn subscribe button, all right? At least give me that. Damn. All right, but look, we're doing something different today, man. I usually come up and give you guys the news, you know what I'm saying? The news that I find interesting from day to day and everything, right? But today, uh, I spoke to one of my friends, and he was like, Hey, Felix, you need to start doing some reaction videos and everything. And one of my college buddies and everything. And then I, I spoke to one of my high school buddies, and then he actually gave me the perfect video for me to start doing my reactions, right? The reason why women cheat, man. Uh, so... My friend, I haven't watched this video at all. My friend just sent it to me and said, like, listen, this one is perfect, trust me. And um, it's, I think the YouTube channel is Jasmine and Jasmine, I believe. Jasmine and Jasmine show or something. So I, I'm assuming they're both Jasmine. I don't know if this is uh, some awesome, what's that show, that cartoon show, Recess, with the with the Britney, Britney, Britney L, Britney A, all that stuff. But hey, listen, let's start watching. You know what? I ain't even gonna hold you. I realized why my man's wanted me to watch this joint. This this girl, I don't know her, but she definitely went to my high school. Uh, I think, I think, I think she went to my high school, and then she's like Instagram famous. She almost got like a million followers on Instagram and stuff. Man. And I think she had like a kid. I think she had a kid. I'm not sure. Let me. Hopefully, I'm not mistaken. But I think if, if this is the girl I'm thinking about, she definitely had a kid when we were in high school. appreciate each and every one of you all that's been supporting our channel since day one yes y'all are getting us to where we need to be we appreciate you guys so much so much and if first off that's that's definitely her she she son these joints is out all right though like they look, you know what i'm saying can i say can i say they cute can i because you know they light skin so i feel like when we get canceled like, oh of course of course the guy's gonna like the light skin girls and stuff like that right i mean but i mean damn it's like Legit, man. She was cute back in high school too, though, for real. If you guys want to support our channel just a little bit more, there is a link on our description box below where you can buy us a coffee to support yes. our small channel. Thought it was. Yes. Thank you. So on this segment, we're gonna be talking about a deep conversation that can be a big debate, and it's basically about cheating. Yes. Shout out to all my cheaters. <laughs> Basically, we just want to like talk about the difference between a man cheating as opposed to a woman cheating. Exactly. The double standard. Right, because a lot of y'all men get in y'all feelings when a woman when a woman cheat because y'all say it's more emotional than the physical because yeah. y'all men feel like oh, it's a physical like thing. Men are emotional <laughs> cheaters too. Y'all y'all are a sensitive. Listen, I, I gotta say this. I'm feeling the thought energy. It's it's building. It's building. The thought energy is building, and I'm here for it. And I don't know if they're talking about double standards. Yeah, uh, there are men do cheat emotionally too. Sometimes you know it's like man, this girl. I, I, those, those guys, man. I don't I don't I don't know what's wrong with them. But girls definitely cheat more emotionally. But at the same time, there's always there's always the thoughts. The thoughts are always here. And, and like I said before, the thoughts they bring balance. They bring balance. They have to be there. They, sometimes they just want to get peened. They just want to get, you know, dicked down sometimes. And that's that's perfectly fine. But, you know, some unlucky guy is going to eventually have to marry this Dottalina. Let's go on. Enough with the macho shit, okay? Some of y'all cheat too because you feel your ego is crushed at home or whatever you have it. Like, Y'all painted out to be like women cheat specifically for emotional reasons like oh he hurt my heart so let me go cheat or mm -hmm. he doesn't look at me the same let me go cheat. Mm -hmm. No, sometimes we just want some new dick too. <laughs> okay. I got to I got to put my glasses on for this. building the streets are strong within this one watch out for her guys 
This is some serious stuff. Hey, listen, like I said before, sometimes they just want the dicking down, son. They want the dicking down. Uh, I mean, do guys cheat for ego sometimes? Definitely. But I mean, all, all jokes aside, if that guy was cheating for ego, he was probably already cheating, but he was probably using this as an excuse of why he cheated this specific time. But he was probably already cheating before to keep it a stack with you, I mean. But these these, these girls is, woo. Listen, when I when I look at this, it's, um, man, if, they, if they're going to come out and start saying that they've been cheating like crazy, their stock value is about to drop down. But hey. of women is that we're this innocent cat oh hell no it's because most men view women as the first woman they knew which is mm -hmm. their mother mm -hmm. so most men put their mother on a pedestal your mother could be a crackhead you're putting her on a pedestal mm -hmm. so it's like women, men think that women are like these these like fairy tale creatures and that we Fuck no baby on like the right like whatever is considered traditional or right, right. But we're humans, you know, mm -hmm. and we get urges too, whether they're mm -hmm. sexual, whether they're hormonal. We we're owed the same respect mm -hmm. as men. It's just that men can't handle that. <laughs> they can't. Um Listen, you can get all the respect that you want. Son. I would give you respect. You know what I'm saying? But it, the question is. Do you want to get wifed? That's the question, right? And like I said, these girls are attractive. You know what I'm saying? I'm pretty sure they have no problem getting guys, right? So there's some guys who are going to watch this video and be like, oh, she won't cheat on me. No, she, she'll definitely cheat on you. She'll definitely cheat on you if these girls are cheaters, that is. They'll definitely still cheat on you, right? And listen, I, 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 don't, I don't know how to explain. This, this is why I tell people, every girl is a thought until proven otherwise, right? Everyone. Until proven, I've seen nerdy girls girls the cheeks randomly to a whole bunch of guys. I've seen, you know, daddy's girls that are because there's this thing about talking about what when, when a girl is a daddy's girl, you know, I got the father in her life, she's not gonna be a thought. No, I've seen those, those exist. This is not a myth. I'm not telling stories, it's not folklore. Come on, man. Like, listen, she's probably not gonna have a problem with finding a dude, you know what I'm saying? But the streets, the streets said. The streets will never lose, right? That's what I'm saying. 2021, man. We gotta watch out, man. Girls like this. <sighs> Send the foundation. I blame Lori Harvey. Men can't handle when they got some dick because you just wanted some new dick. A man has to, oh no, you had to be hurt. The nerve. Because you wanted some new dick. Mm -hmm. You wanted some new dick. Mm -hmm. You wanted some new dick. 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 You wanted some you're boohooing at home. It's not always about some fresh pussy. Right, because, you, you know, you, as a man, they feel like, oh, I'm going to cheat because some shit, maybe shit might be good at home. And shit might be bad at home. But I feel like a man cheats because they're just not strong in the flesh. <laughs> and the Bible yeah. says the flesh is weak. I'm not going to get there. <laughs> but. No. No. A lot of us cheat because the girl that just walked by got a fat booty, son, and she's willing to give up the cheeks. She's willing to give up the cheekage, man. A lot of stuff we do is for the cheekage. Most guys get into relationships not because they want to, it's because they have to. Because sometimes they, the girls are like, oh, well, what are we? They hit you with the what are we? And as it gets to the point it's like, all right, man, I, I'll, I'll wife you up. You know what I'm saying? As long as I get guaranteed pussy on this all the time, anytime I come back. And that's not even always guaranteed. Eventually, after a while, the dude will have to cheat, right? My girl, my girl's sleeping. Hopefully, I'm not too loud. She heard that. But yeah, sometimes a guy got to cheat, man. You know what I'm saying? Because you might mess with your, your girl. Might not have the booty. She might not have the titties or something like that. Or she might not be freaky enough. That's why you have to go out there and start getting more and more joints, increasing the body count as a man. But uh, listen, it's not always because it's our feelings, right? It's mainly because we see a girl with a fat ass and she's dropping the cheeks. Cheek droppage is the number one. This is a, a true stat. 86% of all cheating men is because of the cheek droppage potential. Look that up. You can get that, you can get I'm telling you, son. Uh-oh. But I mean, or you just probably wasn't ready to commit. I feel like or you could just be committed too long and you need something new. Mm -hmm. Right? That could be it. Or somebody's I feel like I'm That's facts. Through. That's so facts. There's people I've like been that. a cheater mm -hmm. and I've been cheated on. I feel like I've been on both sides of the fence, but 
I don't think I have a reputation of cheating in mind. If I were to pop out there and talk about why I did, uh-huh. it's because it was off some get back. Okay. And I didn't want to do it, but it took for me to do it to make him stop doing what he was okay. doing. Okay. Okay. And it just that makes sense. That makes perfect sense. How you say I've been on both sides of the fence and then make it seem like I'm not really a cheater? I did it for to make him stop doing it. How? What? Come on. I guess that makes sense in the fight, right? If, if the guy keeps punching you, punching back, eventually he might stop punching you, or the, or the punches might come back even harder because now he's angry. If my girl cheated on me, son, I'm coming back with a vengeance. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm dropping dick off uh, on, on freaking joints that I would never even think about. The the twos, and yes. I'm proving her point about being an emotional cheater. Yes, yes. Out of spite. I'm going to crease my body. I don't care. It's at the point where, like, because a man was like, oh, yeah, um, you know, she's going to come back anyway. She's going to come back anyway, and she ain't going to do nothing Most of the time it. she so will. I did something about sure. it, and that hurt his heart to the point where it still hurts. <laughs> I'm scared now. She got you know, but, but I'm He's not, still I'm with her? Everybody's, you know, it's different. Everyone's characteristics are different. Yeah, so that whole like, oh, she, you know, was more emotional. She probably really liked this nigga. I'm not gonna say that's an emotional cheat though. Yeah, I've cheated in some times where, well, I have a reputation for cheating. <laughs> Let's just be real. <laughs> that's it. I mean. <laughs> Did I not say the streets are strong within this one? I said it. I called it from the get-go. The streets are strong. Right? She's working. She's sh- sh- the ambassador. This is this is why I say some of these Instagram models, bro. You see, they got a whole lot of followers, bro. Hmm. Bro, you really believe they denying every DM that's coming into their joint, bro? They're dropping pussy off sometimes, bro. I'm not going to make it seem like they're just out here thotting it up. I'm not going to say that. But I'm also not going to not say that. Let's continue. Well, okay, so we being real, but why? Is it because, are you just not ready to commit? Um, There's multiple reasons. There's been times where I've cheated because I felt Mm -hmm. like, I know this isn't my final stop, so Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. enough of the playing house. Yeah. Um, You were over it, maybe. Yeah, there's been times I've cheated because I was over it. There's been times I've cheated because... Mm -hmm. I've been more attracted to something. Yeah, yeah. Not saying that it was better for me than what I had at home, mm-hmm. but I had to see what that was like. That yeah. type of cheat. Like, okay. it's like... Well, because you're, you're young. Yeah. I feel like when you commit yourself so young at an age where you're still in your prime, I just want to yeah. say, I just want to throw prime out there because, shit, you could be 40 and still in your prime. Facts. <laughs> but you know what? I feel like men... Who are these 40-year-old joints are still in their prime, bro? Like, women. But there's a legit study. I'm, just, I'm not even making this up. This is a legit study. I got to figure out if I can, I'll put it in the description box below. There's a legit study that they asked men from the ages between the ages of 18 to like 60 and asked them what is their ideal range when they want to find a woman? Like, how old do they want to be? From between the ages of 18 to 60, they said they want girls between the ages of 20 to 24 years old. Bro. The 50 year old guy said they still want that. 40 year old guy said, How can you tell me that at 40 years old you're still in your prime, bro? Women are based off of their looks. So by that point, they start depreciating. After 25, the looks start depreciating. Of course, you're going to find a few joints that look like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? But usually by the time they hit 30, they're in the danger zone. And that's when they start getting desperate, son. And that's why, listen, the men hold the key to the power to the relationships, bro. They hold the key to the to the poom poom, but we hold the key to the relationship, bro. That's Kevin Samuel's words right there, son. Watch him. It's the same thing sometimes. Like, you feel like you're giving everything to somebody, and you know this ain't the final stop. So it's like, you can't help but to live your natural life despite somebody else's feelings Mm -hmm. and i don't like to hurt anyone's feelings like if i have cheated it's been very discreet Mm -hmm. but then there's been times where i am emotionally cheating and i want you to find out you're gonna find out because you're gonna stop playing with me awesome get back like yeah yeah i could say probably one time i cheated for get back that was my only emotional cheat Mm -hmm. any other cheat has just been like 
I'm not satisfied anymore. And it's not even just the dick. It's everything. You're irritating me. Yeah. There's things that you're doing that so then I just can't not live with. Right. Then I feel just like that whole, you just didn't want to be content in that situation. And you were just like onto the net. Well, like, I wanted to be content. I was no sense. longer content. Do you feel like people cheat because they don't want to be upfront about the situation? Like, hey, I just don't want to deal with you. Or do you cheat because you still want to deal with that person and still eat your, I mean, like, I've had your one cake foot, and get it too? I've had one foot in, one foot out. <laughs> okay. That's good to know. But yeah. it's like, that cake is three layers. <laughs> this cake's only two. Oh, no, it's not fair. Not fair. I want the three-layer cake. <laughs> hey, but wait, but not permanently because I'm not a greedy bitch. So I'll take the two-layer cake now. home. But I got to see see what i'm realizing from watching this right i don't know like how close they are i mean they must be kind of close to they made a youtube joint together right but just off the strength i feel like the one to the the one to the right is a little bit more chill and more conservative but the one to the and i feel like she's letting the one to the left go out and, and just pretty much say her thought like behavior and say like this. she's let me not say thought like behavior let me say this she's more of a dude like she has the mentality of a dude but then at the same time when you look at the definition of what a what a slut is right i'm not saying that she is though i'm just saying if you look up the definition it's the it's the girl with the morals and mentality of a guy so i mean i'm not saying that she is one but i mean we go by definition you know what i mean i don't know but like i said she looks like both of them are attractive they look like they don't have no problems but at, man i still can't believe cuz cuz i i didn't talk about this but cuz still messing with with the other one the one to the right because she said like he's still mad about it to this day like y'all still cool like what's going y'all still going out like what's what's good i want the three i want it all i want the three layer cake too however i don't want to bring the three layer i don't want leftovers okay right, i like right. my nice little two layer cake at home do you feel like the two layer cake could become a three layer cake or it's kind of like nah nah because everybody knows their threshold and i feel like a three layer cake is we're talking about cakes now. <laughs> a three layer cake is too much for me everybody knows their limits but yeah. it's like it's like all right when you go on vacation right yeah you don't want to live at the resort like, you want to stay it in your you see that she knows it's, it's only a certain amount of dick that that can be given right that I can take at one time. Cause if I keep getting this dick, my body count will increase exponentially. It's not gonna help my value. It's not gonna help my stock. And definitely not gonna help my help my nether regions. My nether regions are gonna be destroyed and plowed through. Probably labia lips all hanging out and stuff. It's not it's not always this it's not always the most appealing looking thing, right? I'll give her that. At least she knows. She didn't say that, but I feel like subconsciously that would that's what she was saying. You saw what just happened there, right? I'm uh, is is she married to to cuz or are they just still friends? E either way, to me, that's like whoa. Because if they if they still friends, I'm like, why are they still friends? If she's married to a whole nother dude and stuff, right? Like, y'all close enough that he's still mad about the cheating, or is he married? Is she married to the dude? And I don't know, I don't know how I feel about that because at the end of the day, I mean, he was cheating first, right? Uh, usually that type of stuff is that's a toxic relationship. I wouldn't even, Ooh. but I mean, hey, I guess it is what it is, right? It's not, it's not my relationship, right? But with her, the other girl, uh, she's not the one to the left with the drink and everything. She's not, oh, they both got drinks. She's not, um, she's not married, but let's be honest, are you, are you guys surprised? The streets, it's hard to get married when you, when you're dedicated to the streets, you're just stuck on a freeway. Just going down I-95 something with no idea where you're gonna stop. She's going from I-95, she's, she's starting in New York and she's trying to get down to Miami. So she's driving the streets, just patrolling the streets right now, bruh. 
I respect it though. I mean, hey, listen, we need people like this. Eat myself. Like, if I married you, then I, I obviously thought that you were the person that I could commit to in full. Mm -hmm. But if I'm just dating you, that's why there's levels to this cheating. There is. There's, <laughs> there's levels there's to real... cheating. There's levels to everything. There's levels to cheating. There's levels to dating. There's levels to. And y'all don't understand. She she clearly wants to get married, right? And, and she has to say this stuff to clear the air and everything, right? Pretty much let everybody know, like, listen, yeah, you know, I cheat from time to time, but I still want to get married. And, you know, if we get married, I'm not going to cheat. You know what I'm saying? But you don't know. They're taking a risk. And this, uh, like I said, I'm going to say it again. They're attractive. So, I mean, Cuz still took a chance with, with her to the right. But the girl to the left, like I said, she's just as pretty. So, I mean, oh, dude's going to take a chance. Bro, listen. When, 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 when the peen is erect, bro, the, the thought process goes all the way out, man. So when you see a girl who's attractive like this, right, you're just like, man, F it, man. I'll be the lucky guy. Every That's the thing. A lot of guys have big egos, and they feel like they're just the best guy in the world, and no girl will ever cheat on them. This girl could definitely still cheat on But I, I don't know how I feel like if I was her boyfriend watching. I don't know if she has a boyfriend right now, but if I was her boyfriend watching this, I'm just like, hold up, cuz. Let me see your phone real quick. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't know. I mean, if you got to do all that, I guess you don't need to be in a relationship at the end of the day. But, hey, if I found out my girl cheating on me, bro, I told you, bro. We probably have to break up. But before we break up, I'd have to dick her down with angry dick. Angry dick definitely has to be given. That's a that's a thing. We have to do that, man. You're not leaving out. Just just so people will know, like, bro, you know what? I'm going to tell people, like, yo, I destroyed it. I, I, I beat it up. Not physically, but the, the, the vagina. I'm gonna mess up her labia with my with my with my penis. Let's continue. Marriage. So cheating in a um in a in a boyfriend girlfriend relationship. Do you take that seriously, or do you take it more serious in a marriage? You see what I mean? It depends on who's doing the cheating. <laughs> <laughs> like, Jay, Jay, so I never cheated being married. Never cheated being married. But that whole situation with Jay happened while we were together because of his infidelity. But were you married? No, so no. It's, 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 right. It, it, but it, did it I stay? Count. Yeah, so she, we could talk about that. Because would you stay in a, in a cheating relationship? Oh, sorry. Oh. I was just... Woman. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm trying to record without being like... <laughs> no. <laughs> Go ahead. Um, you know... I feel like once you get married, if it's worth it, um, after that you have to kind of, I'm not going to say erase the past, but you kind of have to leave the past in the past because this, getting married is a new beginning. Mm -hmm. So if you made it that far and you said, all right, I still want to do this, and he, he said, I still want to do this, mm -hmm. then y'all knew what it was. Right. Some people don't have that conversation or yeah. some people don't know how to leave stuff in the past and they commit to somebody because they are looking for them to change. Right. You don't get married. I mean, she's speaking facts. She's speaking facts. I just want to get back to, man, girl to the right just exposed her husband, like said his name. All we got to do is figure out her last name and then we can, we can go and crack the case of who this guy is and everything, right? And she pretty much answered the question. I, 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 think, I think she got married to the guy who, you know, cheated on her i think she pretty much answered the question right there um i'm not about to watch the whole video the whole video is about 14 minutes well i'll watch it i'll watch it after you know after the recording and everything i don't want to be on it too much um I'm, I'm saying this right now like uh this this thing about girls cheating i think everything they said i i somewhat agree with right um does that change the fact that the energy of the thought energy is just still there. It definitely, street energy is definitely there. They definitely got driver's license. I mean, at least, at least, at least the one to the left definitely got a strong driver's license, man, with no points and everything. Cause she's just going straight on the streets. You feel me? Uh, but listen, anybody can do anything you want. I, I'm, I'm absolutely nobody, right? So if you want to go ahead and cheat, go ahead and cheat, man. Like it's, it's up to you. It's up to you, man. It's y'all relationship, and if if the other person don't want to break up with you and all that stuff, and wants you to continue cheating, then hey, that's, that is what it is. You feel me? But I mean, pe dudes have to see this and realize that, man, y'all ego is not the best. I mean, y'all ego can be your enemy sometimes. There's a lot of girls out here who don't care who the hell you think you are. They will cheat. They will cheat. Son. You're not. Oh, you you never. You're not the most handsome guy out there. Always. You're not always the best smooth talker. Not always the best dress. There's always another guy who could come under there, under your girl's skirt, and insert the peen, all right? No one is safe out here, man. But that's all I got to talk about, man. Um, 
like i said if you, if you stayed this long i appreciate you man this is the first video if this if this gets a good amount of views i'm gonna keep dropping some reaction videos like this and um you know we'll, we'll, we'll see how we take it from there man um man this is man, these, these are some pretty pretty light-skinned girls man. they're pretty they're pretty girls for 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 light-skinned girls right we got we got we got to be fair we got to be fair for light-skinned girls you feel me but that's all i gotta say Peace and blessings, you ugly mofos. And I'm out.